Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome to my video today, you guys. I hope you're having a really awesome Monday. I am gonna share with you guys three different cards today. We're gonna make all three of these cards and all three of these cards are for my free card kits that I give out when you guys place orders with me. And this month, I'm also giving out free a bunch of rhinestones that are ready to go out in orders. If you placed orders with me last week, you'll be getting these card kits and a free set of rhinestones rhinestones. So this is the first card and this is if you place a $15 order you'll get this card. We're going to use this stamp set. I really love this stamp set. I love the sentiments in particular. So let's get started. I'm also using the Urban Underground designer paper and it is really fun um, for this. So we have a, a few things happening here. We have a piece of very vanilla it is just folded into a standard A2 size card. So it's four and a half. I'm sorry, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have this piece of designer paper. And then let me give you guys the measurements. So this piece right here is going to be three and a half by five and a quarter. And then we're going to take a quarter inch off and we're going to layer this design. So that's often what I do is I just take a quarter inch off whatever I'm working with and then I layer that up. So we have this layer right here. Then I have a piece of very vanilla and this is three by four and then I add a quarter inch. So then four and a quarter by uh, three and a quarter. And we have two, uh, we layer these together. And you'll probably wanna do your stamping first, but I'm just gonna go for it. I have some delightful Dijon, and then my sticker isn't on here, but that's okay. Let me just stamp the sentiment here on the bottom. Just like that, it came out a tiny bit crooked. I'm getting used to this stamp set. And then we're going to do, we have the lady here, you can see. I don't have my stickers on this set yet because I just got it out to design these cards and get it filmed for you guys. So I'm just using my black ink pad and we stamped her. And then what we're going to do is, I never know exactly how to make these little ink splots work here. So for this stamp set, it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys know that I don't think any card has to be perfect. Um, but I'm just going to take a piece of, uh, this is going to be scratch paper for now, but I'm going to do yellow again. And what I like to do first is stamp the design just so I have an idea of how maybe I want to do it. And I think I'm going to do it this way. It's going to color her dress. And again, I'm not worried about if it's perfect or not. Kind of gives you that watercolored look. And then you can take your Wink Estella. It looks beautiful. I love the look of that. So now let's put our card together. We're first going to put down our layer. Now it's a little bit shorter than our card and it's supposed to be that way. Now we're going to put um, our this layer down right here, which is just the very back of that designer piece. I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, now we're gonna take some of this black. first card it looks just like that so now our second card I'm going to use this designer paper this is the cupcake carousel paper and then also you're gonna get some of this really beautiful glimmer paper which is free with a uh, celebration it's a celebration item so you can get that pack of glimmer paper for free when you place a $50 order. So this is for a $35 order. If you place a $35 order with me, you will get both of these kits. So we're starting with an early espresso. We're gonna add some layers and I'm gonna give you the measurements of that. This will all be pre-cut in your kit. The yellow piece is two and a quarter 
by four and a quarter by four and then this designer piece is going to have a quarter inch taken off so we'll just take a little bit off there and then this is going to be three and a quarter and then three and a half so you have my layers and I will put them together and your designer pieces may be slightly different they may be a different design uh, but they'll still work together well these are also cards that I do for my local class so let's go ahead and stamp first just in case I mess up a birthday stamp set to complete this card because you will want to stamp the this image right here for this image, I'm just going to lay it flat. I'm going to ink it up this way. A little bit crooked. If that bothered you, let's just do it again. We'll see which one comes out better. Celebrations is coming to an end, you guys. There's only a few weeks left for celebrations, so you will want to make sure that you get your orders in to get any of the free product that you are wanting to pick up. All of the product is linked on my coordinating blog post. And then also I'm still looking for two people to join my team. I would still love to have you guys join and get two free stamp sets. I'm going to use the second one that I did. I feel like it came out a little bit better. And we'll layer this together. And we're going to layer this onto our card. And you will notice this is one of the first times I have ever not put a sentiment on the front of my card. It, the sentiment is going to be inside. So we'll layer that down here. And then we have these great tops to our cupcake. And we have four of them. And we're going to layer those here. And then you're just going to take your marker. I'm going to use a Calypso Coral. And you can just fill in, giving it some color. And then we'll go in with our Wink Estella. Move that ink around. Perfect. And then the inside of the card is going to look like this. So it has the uh, sentiment on the inside. Okay, so let's make our last card, which is my favorite. Here's a whole bunch of pieces. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly because it is a little bit more time consuming. We're gonna start with our yellow piece. This is Daffodil Delight. And then this is the pop of pink designer paper. It has the pink design on the back, but then the back side of that um, is this re these really great black and white, these really great black and white designs. So we're going to layer this right on the edge. So this card is four and a quarter by five and a half. But this layer of designer paper has a quarter inch taken off this side. So the fun thing about this is we're going to do a little bit of inking. So I have my Daffodil Delight ink pad. You could do this before you put that designer paper down, but I did, I'm going to do it after. I'm not worried. I'm gonna add a little bit of color, the same color, the Daffodil Delight, to the Daffodil Paper. Okay, so that's gonna give it a little bit of shading. So then you're going to get all of these die cuts in your kit. So the way these kits work is you get all of these pieces and you put the kit, you put the cards together based on the items that are in your kit. And if you need a stamp set, then you just have that stamp set and you complete your card. So all of these little die cuts are going to come in this kit. And this kit is when you spend $50 or more with me, you get all three card kits and you get a set of rhinestones. So that's really fun. So you have all of these die cuts and we're going to do a few things. First, you have a yellow one. And this is optional. You don't have to do this. You can put it together without any of the inking, but the inking is fun. So I'm going to take some pumpkin pie ink and a dabber, a dauber. And we're going to just dab some ink down there in the middle of these flowers. And then this is going to be tone on tone look. And then we are going to take this yellow one and we're going to do the same thing. So this is fun. You could do this with all of your pieces if you wanted. It just gives it a little bit more interest and depth. And I like that. And then you have these two leaves. 
Now, if you want, there's a coordinating stamp set to this die. And if you want, you can take your old olive ink and you can take this stamp set. But then let's put this together. So we have our card. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use some dimensionals. One dimensional will feel perfect right on the back of that flower. So we're going to put that in the corner. Then we'll add another dimensional on the orange one. This is pumpkin pie. And we're going to put these kind of together. We're going to layer them together kind of in this corner. And then the leaves we'll go ahead and put down flat so we can just add a little bit of adhesive. We're gonna tuck these in where they will fit, just like that. Then we have a little yellow piece that's gonna go here in the middle. And these are both yellow, so this is these are both gonna be tone on tone. And so we can, uh, let's just put these down flat. You could lift them if you wanted. Now these pieces are all gonna move around so once you get them on your card you can definitely pop those pieces up and give it a little bit of dimension but when i'm pushing things down and flattening things i feel like it doesn't really do any good for me to push things up if i'm going to be pressing them down so the last little flower you will have be this orange one you can layer this up with a rhinestone and then the middle piece and that's going to go up in the corner or you could get really creative and you could put um, these flowers anywhere you wanted. So you'll want to use some liquid glue for this just because I know this video is getting long. I'm just using my tape runner and we're going to make it work. But we're going to add this congratulations right over the top here of the black. Now you could make this curve if you wanted. And then you'll just wanna add the middle of these. So the great thing about these Stampin' Up! rhinestones is they already have adhesive on the back. So that makes it super nice to just pop them on there. Make sure that your ink is dry when you're popping those rhinestones on, that way they don't pop off. So there is our third card. So we have this card right here. For $50, you'll get all three card kits. Here is the middle card right here. I've got to glue my little pieces on there. This is the first card we made. So all of this information will be over on my website. You'll be able to see photos of these up close. I was a little bit zoomed out. I forgot to zoom in, so I'm sorry about that. You'll be able to see photos on my website of each of these cards along with information on placing an order or joining my team. Celebrations is almost over, so I want you guys to get the very most that you can get out of this sale that we are having. So all the information will be on there for that. And hopefully I will be back tomorrow. My little boy was, um, we had to take him to the emergency room this weekend. He had a little stomach situation happening and he was dehydrated. So things around my house are a little bit crazy right now. So hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with a paper pumpkin video. That will be fun. And of course I'll be back this week to hang out with you guys. Make sure you head to my website and check out all of that information. And I would love, love for you guys to give this video a thumbs up if you love free stuff in the mail. Free card kits and free rhinestones this month for placing an order. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you later.